Welcome back to CSS for Beginners. This is video seven, and in this video, I'm just going to tie up a few loose ends um, that we've come across. If we go and have a look at what we've been trying to create in these initial videos, we're just trying to create something uh, simple like this. We've got a web browser. The web browser's background color is gray, and inside that um, body, we've got this div tag. That we've applied um, properties of color to green, to the value of green. We've also applied the properties of width and height, um, and we've talked about margin being auto, so that it's always in the middle, uh, horizontally to the web browser. Just to tie up a few loose ends, we're going to um, change the background color um, of, the, of the whole body, and we're just going to add um, these text uh, elements here to our page. So, we'll start by changing the background color. And what we need to focus on first of all is that we created these uh, three CSS files here and we said right okay the text.css is going to have all the styles for the text that we're going to use the layout.css is going to have all the styles for any sort of divs that we use to uh, structure the layout of our pages and the main.css we haven't actually used that yet and we're going to use that in this uh, these next few steps to set the properties of the background so I'm going to open up main.css. Now main.css has got our import URLs here. Okay, and the reason that is is because in index.html main.css is um, is the one that we're linking to. So I say we haven't used it yet, we have actually used main.css just to link our files, but we've not actually written any styles in here. So we're about to do that now. So what we're going to do Something we haven't talked about yet is the fact that we've only ever declared classes to set to set a style, and then we've applied those classes. And what I mean by that is we've always started off our uh, CSS with a selector of dot something, and that something is what we will then refer to later on in our HTML to uh, apply those styles to whether it be some text or whether it be to a div. So, for example, in our index.html here, we've declared a class um, in one of our files. Um, I think we declared it in the layout file. Let's just go and have a look. Yeah, so we declared the class container in our layout.css with a dot look, so it's a class. And in index.html, we've said div class container. Now, what might be a bit confusing about what we're going to do next is that in the main.css, I'm not going to declare a class. What I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to write body. And the reason for that is because what we can do is we can set a selector as a um, HTML tag. So don't get confused. In index.html, we have certain tags that we need to use in order to write HTML. So, for example, we have the HTML tag, we have the head tag, we have the title tag, which isn't essential, but we tend to have it. We close the head. Again, if I'm confusing you, go to Google, type in HTML, and learn a bit of the basics there, and then you'll understand what I'm saying. Because we also have this body tag in our HTML that opens. We've talked about it before. Anything that appears between this open body tag and this closed body tag will appear on our page. So anything in between there will appear on our web browser. And what I'm saying is you can actually style this body tag. So the body tag can actually be a selector without a, a, applying it as a class. So I don't need a dot before it and I don't need a, a hash or anything like that before it either. So my selector is body. I've opened up the declaration using parentheses and inside that declaration, I'm going to set a property of a background um, color. I'm going to close that property with a colon and then I'm going to set the value of um, a, a dark gray, so something like 33, three, oops, sorry, hash 333333 three, 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 semicolon to close it. Now I know that this is the color gray. So let me just save this so you can see it's not saved. Go to Apple save. Go to my index.html and because because this, um, this style has been written in main.css and I'm referring to main.css um, here, I'm linking to that CSS file, you can see that my um, background of my body has now turned to gray. So if I go into my 
web browser here. Um, in fact, if I just preview this and see what we're, we're doing, so file, preview, in, let's, let's see it's Safari. There we go. And you can see that I've got a uh, green div tag here with the words hello world in. I've got some padding on that div. Um, I've got a margin auto so that it's always horizontally to the middle. It's got properties of width and height. And I've now got in my body, I've now applied a gray background to my body. I'm going to do a couple more things with this because if we go and have a look at this here, I know the colors aren't exactly the same. I'm not worried about that. It's about the layout um, and, and the styles that we're applying. So you can see that I've got this margin here at the top. And what I can do is I'm actually going to apply a margin to the body so that there's always a 50 pixel margin at the top. So no content can appear on this page unless, and we'll talk about this later, unless we're using absolute uh, referencing. Don't worry, you'll learn about that in a bit. But no content can appear on this page um, above these 50 pixels here. So what we're going to do is, if I just close this, we're going to go back into um, main.css here. Not only are we going to give the body background color of 3333, we're also going to say, right, have a margin at the top colon, oops, and have that margin uh, 50 pixels, like that. Okay, save, it's now saved, index.html, you can see already here, look, in my WYSIWYG interface here, that there's now a, um, a margin at the top of 50 pixels. And if I just preview this in Safari, you can see now if I hit refresh, that I've now got a 50 pixel margin at the top there. And so we're getting a lot closer to what we initially wanted, which was this. The last thing I'm going to show you in this video tutorial is again, just how to put this in here, but you should already know because we've talked about it. Um, I'm first of all going to uh, use a class for the title here. And then I'm actually going to set the properties of this text here. I'm going to set the properties of that inside this, um, this div tag here. Okay, don't worry. If you're not understanding it, you will do in just a minute. So, what I said first of all is that I'm going to um, set this as a certain class on its own. So in my text.css, I've already got a class called title. And I'm just going to use this class here to um, and, and apply that to this piece of text here. So, I'm going to go span, oops, span class equals, you can see my titles popped up, close that, and then here I close the span, and you can see that I've now got this, now I'm just going to change the colour of that because yellow is not looking too good, so I'm actually going to my text.css, if I just delete this, and choose a nice red, so something like that, save it, and go back in here, and now my text is red. Now, the text that appears underneath there, now you can see if I start writing in my HTML here and I start saying um, this is my first web page, and if I click in here, you can see that that text appears right next to it. Now again, this is HTML basics because what I need to do is I actually need to put a line break after this here so that whatever appears after this is on another line. Okay, so even if I go into my code here and press enter, like that, it, it doesn't actually put that text on another line, you see? Because I actually need to write um, some code to say, put this, whatever appears after it, on another line. And the way you do that is you use something called a BR tag here. Okay, so I've written a BR tag here, and that will put this text on another line. So if I go here, look, there you go, let's put it on another line. Now what I was saying earlier is that what I'm going to do is I've set this as a style of title but rather than actually give myself another class to use here I'm just going to set up some uh, more div properties on this div and some of those properties are going to be to do with fonts. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to go into my layout.css and in here I'm just going to apply some more properties. So I'm going to apply right I always want the font family of this div to be Arial. 
Again, I know Dreamweaver is popping up with all of this code for me, but you can see it here. You just declare a property of family, um, close it with a colon, and then your your value is Ariel Helvetica sans serif. And we've talked about font families before and why we've got three of them. I'm also going to set a font size on this um, container, this div, to always be 14 pixels. I'm going to save that. And then if I come out of here and go back into my index.html, you'll see that I've now got the, the style that I've just written is appearing here. Because this div tag has set the properties of all the text that appears inside it. However, I've overwritten those properties for this text by spanning a class. So now, if I preview this, file, preview browser, Safari, you can see that I've got something looking very similar. If I hit refresh, looking set very similar to what we're doing here. Okay, in the next video, I'm going to talk about these, um, these images here and I will lay those out.